Goosebumps Terrors Episode 8 releases. Get your hands out of there. I'm um, sorry, uh, Stein was taking over for a second. Don't don't leak the shit. Don't leak the dates. Um, everybody, I know it's kind of been leaked. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something other than leaks about Goosebumps Terrors. There are no leaks at the moment. But it made some very, very, very obvious remarks. Um, yeah, we're talking about some other leaks today. Um, specifically, we're Goosebumps Disney Plus. Um, yeah, um, so if you haven't been aware, I would be very surprised. The Goosebumps Disney Plus posters, plural, yes, um, have been leaked. Um, as long as a new description. So, we'll be going into all that today. Um, before we do that, uh, I want to say a few things. Nine days to... So, we're listening. Nine days to Goose Month. So, that's one of the first things I want to say. Uh, I won't be here for a partial bit of Goose Month. And finally, we're actually doing live streams now, so... Um, for episode one, which is free hours, I know, it's already available to watch, so go ahead and watch if you guys are curious. Um, I will be going live very soon, probably tomorrow, um, or when I reach 500. I was playing Friday, Saturday, one of those days, just expect something. Not today, though, I have some reading to do. Hooray. Um, without further ado, though, let's get into some of the leaks. Hooray! So, first up, we have the official poster. Second poster is not exactly the same, it's a little different. We'll get to that in a minute. So, this poster, there is actually a lot more to analyze than you might think. First off, we have a whole shit ton of the cast everywhere. Um, yeah, it's it's very weird. It, it's, it, they're just everywhere. Of course, there's like the poster, of course, revealing the characters. Of course, we already know, you know, we got the casting and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's nice actually seeing what they're going to look like in the show. With all their, you know, what they wear, what they're going to look like. Like, um, of course, we have what people believe to be young Stein up there. Um, I can't remember his name because I'm not very good with actor names. Um, I'm not very familiar with any of the actor names except for, like, when it comes to Stranger Things or Goosebumps. But, uh, like the Goosebumps movie, I meant. But, yeah, uh, yeah, people believe a lot of things, and we'll actually name off a few theories. We're not going to go in depth, because I'm sure you all have, all have heard, heard them about them a shit ton. Uh, source people believe that guy right there is probably younger R.L. Stein, or in this universe, just R.L. Stein in general. Uh, Sloppy's wearing a top hat, and people believe that the reason why is because he actually, uh, the, the copy that was opened was, uh, Jesus Christ, or the cop, the, the book he's based off, if we're doing the movie shit, where it's the books, then it's probably Bride of the Living Dummy, and that means we might see Mary Ellen, which would be cool, but I doubt it, um, also, the glass shattering is possibly referenced to Less Invisible, you never know, that's what people are saying, um, in the partial chunk of the glass next to Stein, what people believe he is, there is a girl, by the looks of it, potentially, no, actually, maybe not a girl, you never know, um, if this is true, um, believed to be the Phantom, or even maybe an evil twin, but that's pretty much debunked by now. They're wearing a mask, pretty obviously. Um, and you can actually see the mask in, mask in the next poster. Um, another theory is, which is my personal favorite theory, besides, you know, the giant slappy right here, which we'll get to in a minute, um, is the girl, I think it's a girl, um, I see, I, there was a second poster, it makes me think it's a boy, I'm gonna have to go look at the casting and shit, I'm not sure what the gender of this person is, I'm sorry, um, girl right next to Slappy, um, go directly opposite of Stein, it's giving you a creepy look, yeah, um, very, very creepy, um, I think she's gonna be like a twist villain of sorts, or maybe she's gonna turn evil at some point in the series, uh, maybe lose her fucking mind, um, some, you know, serial killer ass bullshit, and I would absolutely love that. Especially since it's made by Disney. That's really shocking. Um, now for the biggest one, nobody will shut up about is how there's a cuckoo clock of doom down there. Probably the most obvious one. Um, which I find really cool. Um, I don't know how exactly they're gonna use that in the story. Um, but they could be going back in time. That's what, maybe maybe that's why we're seeing a young Stein. Um, or maybe you know, you never know. Um, we will get some past scenes from the past, like flashbacks. You never know. It could be really good potential. And to back up the series, but it's the Ku Clock, which it very obviously is. So it's basically confirmed. Um, is the glass is shaped as a bird, which I just don't believe, in my opinion. I think this theory is a little far-fetched and people are just trying to do something. Because I can see the beak shit, but that's the only thing I can really make out with the beak. Um, everything else just looks like a blobby mess. Or, or the head part, at least. But yeah. 
um that's enough of the fury so the poster itself is amazing um and resurrection is only the working title it's not the official title it might end up being the official title depends on what um the producers decide or whatever um but the another alternate title is called goosebumps the haunting but you never know um it could be just called goosebumps which i hope not because that would be just too typical and it would kind of be hard to differentiate it from the movies when i'm talking about the goosebumps shows too um anything goosebumps media related that's film wise uh, might be, make it a little harder to differentiate because Goosebumps 2 is so far the only thing you can differentiate. Um, we're gonna have two shows named Goosebumps. Um, at least stick a new title on there, which is what we're seeing here. So please go off this or something else. Um, of course, there is the cast, like we previously mentioned. Um, it says original series at the top, and of course, uh, Slappy. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot of people on Reddit hate his design, and I just don't see why. Um, he genuinely looks creepy. Um, I like the top hat. It's going to be really funny to see that. Um, it's really goofy looking. But, of course, in a scary way, I feel like um, the top hat could be really, really cool. Um, I like a nice change, you know. Um, the top hat is probably going to make me him, uh, well, at least this design, one of my favorites. And now, we move on to the second poster. So, um, what is this? So, this is another poster, obviously, for Goosebumps. And this one actually just says Goosebumps, which is probably the most interesting thing to me. Um... It just says Goosebumps. I mean, it's just weird. I think this might be because they're, they're now realizing, hey, um, we're probably not going to call it Goosebumps the Haunting or Goosebumps Resurrection quite yet. We're not quite sure. We're going to wait till the trailer drops really, really, really soon. I will do a reaction when that comes out. Analysis. Um, videos for days, my guys. Oh, my God. If it releases in Goosebumps, we're fucked. Um, that is going to be a shit ton of cons, and I don't know if we'll be able to do it. <laughs> so videos might be pushed. Yeah, um, let's, hope, let's hope it releases really soon, so I have some content next week, um, so I can do something else for Goosebumps. But uh, anyways, back on track. Um, so, what can we see here? Well, the main thing a lot of people were pointing out, myself included, um, was that the fact that these are photos. When, that was immediately the first thing I um, noticed when I saw this, is the fact that it's photos. And, of course, what do you think of when you think of photos, when you think of Goosebumps, when you think of Hort? Okay, that was a lot. Um... Say cheese and die. Very obvious. So I would not be surprised if this is alluding to say cheese and die, or specifically the camera, being part of the show. I'll get to why specifically the camera in a minute. Um, I mean, that is like the villain, I guess, but whatever. Um, from talking about Spider or whatever. But, uh, no spoilers for the book. Um, yeah. Uh, the camera stuff is really cool. Um, the back up to Siri, everybody looks like they're in some level of discomfort or distress. Especially uh, the one who's giving me the creepy look in that last image back up there in the corner. Jesus. Um, upper left corner, just tear... Bro, bro, <laughs> bro looks like he's seen some shit. Um, but uh, it also says watch at your own risk, which is really cool. Um, this guy, um, seriously, I'm not good with names. Um... What people believe to be the young Stein, or of course a dad, or um, whatever. He is in the dead center, and his photo is sticking out. So he's obviously going to be a very, 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 very important character. And I'm not sure what his role is quite yet. Nobody is it quite sure, but there's a few leading like, theories. And I, um, I don't know if I want him to be signed or not. I feel like they should bring in the real Stein to show up as a just a cameo, potentially. Maybe serve some role, um... Of course, the real, the real Stein's gonna show up. It, it happened in both Goosebump movies. It'd be a, it would be a shame if he just did not show up, whether he'd be a different character or not. Please be a different character. That would be funny. <laughs> um, and again, it would be cool. Um, but of course, finally, we're gonna get to the big elephant in the room. Um, the house and the mask down there. So the house, a lot of people believe it's either um, Welcome to Dead House or just one of the characters' houses. And I genuinely don't want Welcome to Dead House to be part of this book. I'm sorry, uh, this series. Because I feel like that's... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like that's the cool, um, the coolest thing. And I don't really know how that would work exactly. Welcome to Dead House. The book itself... The house isn't exactly haunted or anything. Minor spoilers. But it just would not work in the sense of the show. Unless they're really going to change up the story. Or if this takes place in Dark Falls. Which would just make this whole mo um, TV show... Welcome to Deadhouse, because with Goosebumps characters, like, it would be really fucked if 
this wasn't in Dark Falls. So I genuinely think the series fucked, um, that this is Dead House, but it could be a nice reference, so... I'm not completely debunking the fact that it might be a Red House related thing. But you never know. Maybe this is, maybe this show does play place in Dark Falls. Um, it's probably debunked somewhere in a description or something for the TV show, but whatever. Um, the next thing is the mask, which was the same mask the person was wearing in the last image, what people believe is the Phantom or an evil twin or something. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say what it is and what I think it is, because a lot of people are saying, of course, it's a phantom, which is um, Bjorn's main fury. Um, someone said, uh, I think it was Inclaus Guzman fan, I mean, probably jokingly, um, reiteration of the Han mask, like Disney's version, like, please, no. Um, I'm not even going to jump in that boat either. Um, this is probably something we're just not really figuring out. I think I might just go through a Goosebump book check and see what it is. Um, I'm thinking maybe like the five mask of Dr. Scream. Here we go. We just started a new theory. You don't have to look into that. Um, or maybe something relating to Horrorland. Um, you just never know. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to analyze in these images. And there's probably stuff we haven't even noticed yet that's just right up just calling our names. Telling us, hey, 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 look here, look here. Like, the Goosebump logo, you never know. Or the fact that this background seems to be made of paper, which is really interesting, but probably just a cool design choice. But yeah, that's it for this. Um, these photos um, of posters or whatever. Um, of course, remember, they're all leaks, and they're not completely confirmed. But they're probably real. <laughs> um, yeah, basically everyone knows at this point that they're probably real. So I'm not even going to just say they're um, fake anymore. I'm just going to say leaks in the title. But uh, now moving on to the new description. So, the description reads as follows. A group of high school students are haunted by supernatural objects and must work together to solve the mystery of why they've been targeted, only to discover their own parents' teenage secrets may be part of the reason. Wow. Let's dissect that sentence by sentence. <laughs> A group of high schoolers... That kind of pissed me off originally, but I think this school can, um, this show can still be good. Maybe season two introduce some younger actors, and maybe make your another spinoff, but you know, an anthology series. I love that, but you guys probably aren't gonna do that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if it's popular enough. And of course, we're gonna get Goosebumps free to get popular, but that will be a video on Goose Month. I just kind of spoiled something. That's actually one of the last videos. Um. Yeah. So. A group of high school students are haunted by supernatural objects but and must work together to solve the mystery of why they've been targeted. So, I think it's interesting that they said objects, um, probably alluding toward the fact that these are, um, at first, objects. Like, maybe there's a can of monster blood, or a mirror, or a mask, a dummy. Um, you never know, it could go anywhere. Um, of course, a camera, that would be really cool. It, it would be just straight up awesome just to see a Morgan just, I don't know, just find this shit. I don't know where they'd find it. Maybe in, like, their parents have this shit. Um, maybe it's in, like, some storage unit. I don't know, man. This is some weird shit. I don't know where the hell they'd find it. But, yeah, of course, they get haunted by them. Um, and for some reason, it's specifically them. I don't know why they've been targeted, but probably because... I mean, they probably found them. They're probably pissed. But, of course, their teenage, uh, their parents' teenage secrets might be the reason. Which is bringing us to a fear I don't like, which is something I mentioned a while back, which I don't want to be true. In fact, this is the Goosebumps movies, um, for the kids for the first Goosebumps movies, which I just don't want to be true. Please! Don't be true! Um, I doubt it, though. They might have to get some rights and copyright reasons. You never know. Um, but you never know. What's going on behind the scenes? Hopefully nothing. Um, probably know they bought um, Sony, um, Disney. That would be hell. Oh god. But yeah, um, the parents' teenage secrets have probably just um, encountered the shit on their own as well, which would be really cool to see. But yeah, um, that's really it for this video. Let's uh, get to the end now. I have to do a very quick ending since we're at the very end of this video and don't have much time to talk. So see you guys in the next one soon. Goodbye.